Happening now in today's cultural atlas, take a journey from the 15th century to the present and see how artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Picasso, and so many more have used drawing to record and provoke thought. Drawing, it's one of the most fundamental forms of art. Even though many of us think we cannot draw, we are actually all capable of drawing. Drawing is also a medium that is used by artists who work in other medium. For instance, this exhibition includes work by filmmakers, sculptors, performance artists, and painters who are also using drawing as a medium. The British Museum's Lines of Thought makes its way to the New Mexico Museum of Art in Santa Fe, bridging the chasm between the masters and mundane and shedding light on the process behind some of the most famous works of art throughout history. The exhibition includes examples of master artists from across uh, hundreds and hundreds of years. Actually, the works encompass three millennia worth of drawing. The exhibition explores drawing as a thinking medium, giving visitors a chance to see the trial and error process which goes into creating a timeless masterpiece. Many of the drawings in this exhibition include studies for works. Um, when we look at studies or uh, preparatory drawings for sculptures or paintings, it gives us a glimpse into what the artist was thinking, how they were solving problems, how they were thinking about different ideas. There's a number of examples here, including a study for the Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel, where you can see the evolution of what eventually ends up in the completed work. Also, there is a Leonardo da Vinci drawing that includes uh, multiple attitudes of the head, of where they ended up being finally positioned in the final drawing. That's a great example of um, the artist trying out the composition, uh, restaging that drawing in three ways. So if you look at the reverse, uh, so he made a quick sketch on the back, um, reversed that drawing and then traced it uh, to light. And then you can see the figure or the head of the Virgin has been placed in three different locations until he came to a place where the final composition could rest, uh, which was entirely different from his initial drawing. The exhibition's diversity allows for a truly unique artistic experience for visitors of the New Mexico Museum of Art. One of the things that's most unique about this exhibition is that it does not show the works in a chronological order, uh, that we are juxtaposing uh, uh, Rembrandt, Franz Klein, and Mondrian in one, in one example on one wall, uh, which shows the way that each of these artists are using the medium uh, differently and how that is related to the works of that time period. Probably one of the most interesting juxtapositions is the, is the positioning at the very entrance of the exhibition of a page from the Book of the Dead with a drawing by the performance artist Michael Landy. And Landy's work, as well as the Book of the Dead, both talk about a process. They both talk about uh, a um, kind of redemptive process and destruction. And they're, you know, 3,000 years apart uh, in their creation. So it helps us see similarities across time period. It also allows us to look at drawing at its most, um, at its most elemental. Lines of Thought is one of the British Museum's largest touring exhibitions, showcasing 70 drawings from their nearly 50,000 drawings and 2 million prints. Actually, this is probably one of the finest drawing exhibitions put together by the British Museum. It had five UK venues aside from the British Museum, and actually this exhibition itself will never be seen at the British Museum. We are one of two venues in the U.S., and after this exhibition is closed and the work goes to Rhode Island School of Design, it will then go back to the British Museum and be stored for another 10 years before they will be shown to the public. Works on paper require very special care, and as such, their public displays are very limited. Works on paper are some of the longest lasting artifacts, aside from ceramics, but they're also among the most uh, fragile and fugitive. So um, controlled uh, humidity and light conditions are one of, the, uh, one of the ways that we can help protect the drawings uh, for perpetuity. The New Mexico Museum of Art is celebrating 100 years in 2017, but the gifts are all for you. The museum is focused on uh, showing and highlighting the arts and culture of New Mexico, but also significantly bringing arts and culture from other locations to New Mexico and to the people of New Mexico. Things like the drawings in this exhibition, which we wouldn't normally have the benefit of being able to see locally. Lines of Thought runs now through September 17th at the New Mexico Museum of Art in Santa Fe. 
And while you're in the neighborhood, be sure to visit Site Santa Fe and the Center for Contemporary Arts. Lines of Thought will close on Sunday, September 17th, folks, so don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime exhibition. For more information, just head over to foxnewmexico.com.